second there. Oh. And now we're about to get started with this match right here. How you how you think this might go? I think neither character likes the shield very much. <laughs> 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 That's like your main issue. It's like I know, I don't. I know something. They just don't want to shoot. <laughs> yeah. Well, nah. Peach, Peach doesn't really mind shielding if you have the buttons for it. Greninja, no matter how good you are, you never want to shield with Greninja like that. And it took a lot of people forever to realize what was Greninja's main weakness because he's such a great mobile mobile character. But if you I feel like if you know how to make Greninja consistently shield, he just loses the matchup because the thing with it, he has a, a terrible shield game. Yeah, He has a bad grab. Bad, well, his aerials generally are really good, but he doesn't have a good aerial out of shield. So if you're, like, uh, if you're a mashy character, you can just mash all over Greninja's shield and force him to do a defensive option. But surprisingly enough, Jaegren is playing a solid neutral to the point where he, he's up by a lot of percent right there. Oh, oh my god! god. Not like wow, commentator jinx oh, on myself yeah, and nah, Jaegren getting robbed. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> I, I saw that. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Jake Ling, Ling Ling hit that last <laughs> week. Yo, we've been seeing that a lot. Don't get caught by the dare in the air like that. Right. Man. That was actually ridiculous. The fact that he had a sleep. <laughs> Jake Ryan had a whole game plan. Oh. Stuffing out. Nah, you, you ain't stuffing out that deal up there. Yeah. Also because he did back here instead of up here. Yeah. Very unfortunate. But anyway, Jake Ryan's going to just stay calm and composed and just somehow try to close it out. And this is where Greninja kind of struggles is that if you – if you're out of range of Greninja's kill setups, it makes it a lot harder for him to kill. Besides, like, having to up throw a bad DI mix up right there, my man floated to the sky. But yeah, like, you know, like, you, you gotta watch out for the main Greninja things. Like, like Greninja likes to touch your toes. <laughs> no, literally, like, all of, most of the Greninja setups is just touching your toes. Yeah, some And using some his own toes. Some, some dash attack stuff, some down tilt <laughs> stuff. He actually started that water shirt can before Cody rolled. Yeah, I was just but, thinking but, the same but, thing. <laughs> but then he, he just <laughs> held it after Cody rolled. I was like, what the he hell? Jaegar, at this point, it seems to me he's trying to condition Cody to do like a, an obvious defensive habit. Because at least he, he can mix up the timing of the Shadow Shurikens. But what I like that, that Cody did in that very scenario that we both just saw is that he rolled, waited for the whole move to pop out, and was fast enough to do a backer out of shoe. So that's what's going to make Gre Greninja has to low-key respect Peach real quick. No. This is what you want to see. Jay Grunt having Peach on top instead. Yeah, yeah. You see, he, he's, he's like, no, no, no. I'm not coming I'm, up there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I learned my lesson. I'm staying right on the ground. <laughs> I'll play a little bit more neutral. What I, I do like that Jay Grunt's been being very consistent with the Ferris. He's just oh. – he, he, he will mix up whether he's going to fast fall, full hop, cross up your shield. He'll Although it's one move, like he will make that one move work in a lot of scenarios. Nice Hold little on. water shuriken to the Can't trade with the turn, up. turn up. That was oh. smart. I wouldn't have thought it was fast enough to to get that, to be honest. Yeah, you, you would think like, all right, like he has to charge it now, like the little poke, the little baby one's good enough to cancel out the turn up. Yeah. I also want to see him like. Try to catch the turn up, if anything, too. Ooh, don't do it. All right, good jump from Jay Grunt. But, oh, my God, the fair is going to call out the drift. And right now, both players have an even stocks. This is anyone's game, unless Cody gets a crazy task combo. All right. Nice toast from Jay Grunt coming in. Oh, what a mix-up yeah. right there. Delaying the aerials. Oh. And again, another good cross up oh, aerial tried, right there. He tries to get the drag down into the up smash. Oh, how's Cody gonna land? Oh, no tech on the platform. Jay Grant taking full advantage. Another up here. No, he ain't. He don't even want to risk up here at this point. <laughs> good shuriken delay right there. Okay, we got some little item cube combos. He tried to grab it again too. <laughs> yeah. Try to grab it a third time. Oh, calls out That's the it. aggressive yep. option right there. That was really smart. He knew. I like that he didn't, like, rush the ledge trap right there. Instead of him fiending to run to the to grab the shield, and he just, no, I'm just going to stay right here. I know you're going to throw a dash attack at me. In my mind, I was expecting, like, a flow cancel fair or something, but Jake Run still had a good idea and just 
punish it anyway. And I'm Cody thinking back, like, nah, I don't know what it take. Nah, nah, oh, it's, it's small battlefield? Small battlefield. It's one of those two. I would rather and assume small battlefield. Oh, he's doing battle. I don't uh, know. Cody is the first Peach I have ever seen to see? want to go to battlefield, especially in a Greninja matchup. I feel like Jay Gren just saw that, that battlefield pick and started smiling. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm, uh, nah, yeah. you want to go to Battlefield, baby? It's like Battlefield's where it's at. Like, Yo, like, I never, like, even when, when I played Cody for the first time last week, I was like, all right, we, we're going to strike stages. Nah, I'll go to Battlefield. What? For Peach? What are you hiding from the Peach meta that you want to go to Battlefield? I don't know. But we're going to see. Maybe, maybe Cody can prove us wrong to see if it's a better pick. I personally wouldn't take Greninja to Battlefield as Peach, especially because Greninja got top three best jumps in the entire game, and it's really quick. So if Jagron feels a little threatened, he can just burst out of that entire thing and would literally be out of Peach's range to punish any further. I'm going to like the Hydro Pump like for like an, uh, another uh, reset on the trap option of what he's going to do. Right. All right, the turn off going to be in Jagron's hand. All right, we swipe it for feet yep. and catches the roll, calling out. He's actually gotten caught on the roll in multiple times, like right. this. Set. Like it's it's been at least four or five times in a, in a kill situation. It seems to me that Jay Grant, like he has an idea what he wants in this matchup. He's not gonna overextend on the less traps. He's, he's just gonna hold center stage as long as he can, forcing Cody to make a big commitment. And again, having having Cody off the stage at fifty percent. Oh yeah! All right, great up here, right there. Knowing that, it, like that's also you one saw thing that I forgot. Reset Cody <laughs> did, right? Like he was, he landed that that first up air and landed on top plot. He still had to jump. He didn't connect the fair though. Oh my God! Good hydro pump, not running into the to the turn up right there. That would have been big. Oh yeah! Cody oh my God! Oh, Cody's rolling a lot in the situation. Barely like. misses the, the the sweet spot of up smash. But wow! What a frame trap! Uh oh yeah. I just want to make him choose again. I wonder if Substitute can, like, go through the stage as Peach's Umbrella kicks it. Wow, yeah, this is a bad idea from Cody. I don't know what he was thinking going in Battlefield. Me, we're seeing a lot of rolls come out, some panic options from Cody that you don't normally see. And Jagrun is really exposing this matchup right now. Go to up air right there. Another, another multi-hit pressure. Calls out the spot dodge. And how are we going to land? Just keep it simple. And that's all right, and, that, and that's what Peach gets if she doesn't um, flow cancel out of shield. But the back air, not gonna take it quite yet. Oh, but this time Jagron's giving out the rolls. Is he gonna give him another roll? Okay, does a regular get off. Oh my god, my man is pressing buttons right yeah. now. <laughs> He's, I gotta get something. He found the <laughs> he found the one gap in in the triple bear at ledge to neutral get up. Oh my god, what a frame trap right there! Calling out the regular get up. The only option that Jagron could have done is just roll. But he didn't give him in a row and actually got punished devastatingly right there. Only 31%. Good DI from Jay Grunt. Yeah, and that's an area. See, like, Greninja was shielding. and He was forced to either shield or just do a defensive option. And Cody, being full aware right now, he has to. He just has to mash a little more. Good fair. What's going to be the edge guard right there? Oh. Okay, I just peeped. And a nice forward there from Jay Grunt. Not going to take it quite yet. Good DI. Oh, give him another roll. <laughs> Rolled my while, while he was <laughs> at roll distance. My man Cody want to go to the deli and get a roll right now. Hold up. Counter. Yo, what? I'm so yeah. smart right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he's going to counter right here. <laughs> Does he catch? Does he catch up here? Oh, but the fair is going to come out in Jagron taking game two. Yo, how mad if he jumped there and got <laughs> da dare upbeat again? Nah, dare not Paris. from center <laughs> stage. I would have been mad for him, bro. <laughs> I would have been angry for him. Let me, let me die from center stage. But he ran it back to battlefield. Yeah, instantly. I don't, I don't understand. I really don't understand. What, like maybe it's a comf, a comfy pick. Maybe he's just maybe he's scared of the other stages that Greninja can do. I don't. It's really odd. Like I don't understand. But we're gonna run it back anyway. Maybe Cody has a game plan idea.
All right, this is a very solid neutral right now. As I say it, <laughs> it's like, nah, 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 hold on. All right, still a solid neutral. Jay Grant taking his sweet time. I have a whole set lead. I'm not trying to overcommit like that. Forces a, an area out of shield. Oh, good turn up right there. But that's the only, that's the only thing you're going to get. <laughs> Approach me. Nah, what are you going to do about it? Oh, oh. very unfortunate if you're Greninja. That clank only happens if you misangled your recovery. And that's him, and that's him in every stage, too. All right, good turn up catch yet again. That was a smart option. Just th just plainly throw the yeah, shit out of him. Him Z-planking that turn up was like the, the link <laughs> setup, you know? <laughs> just, uh, I'm going to play catch. <laughs> You're not coming at me. I'm playing catch on my own. Good tech from Jay Grunt. Jump from ledge, yep. That's the only smart option to do at that part. Ooh. Oh, Yo. no up here. Oh, but Caught the up up smash rolls. calling out these rolls. <laughs> but we're calling <laughs> out the dash away anyway. Yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah. Like, ah, ah, you got me, bro. You got me, bro. You took that stock. <laughs> I took it personal. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. oh, yo, he hit with the drive that. The only way, the only reason why he got out of that is because he's a fast bowler. If Jake Ram was a floaty, Cody could have actually had a nasty combo right there. That's not really easy to do. Ooh. Yup, just gonna drift back real quick. Repeating neutral. Jake Ram's one of those people, he's gonna, in this matchup, he's, he does not mind continuing to reset neutral. If he knows he can't make his punishes. Like guaranteed. Oh, oh no, not the Cody. Toss. <laughs> they called it the Cody. <laughs> not the Cody. <laughs> he the only piece to do that. <laughs> uh, glide tossing it. That, that stuff is uh, it's damage. Yeah, it, it's 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 definitely damage for sure. Wow, calls out the landing, but J Grant misspacing that forest match. He actually just much. empty float canceled. He literally no. he literally floated and then landed yeah. and shielded. That's what makes Peach a lot scarier. Wow. He could have killed him while us smash, but he just styling him at this point. Let me just, I know you're gonna dare dodge somewhere. Oh, good graph on Cody. What's the edge guard? Throws it up. Nah, we, we don't even care at this point. Oh! Too short. And I like what Jake Run's doing is that he's not just casually running in, walking. He's He's jumping over everything that Cody has to offer, right? It just playing around Peach's burst range. Even the up smash wasn't enough to call him out. Nah, that was actually a good call out by Cody. Still, he he, he <laughs> navigated it. No, yeah, like and Jay Grant was smart enough to like to tease Peach's range right there. Like, and, he, and even so, even if he didn't want to do that, he could just land. He can camp on the top platform, and Peach literally got no answer to that. Besides, like, a forced turn-up. But at that point, there's only so much you can do. Good conversion. And the up here. Uh, oh, good yet. DI from him. And Jake Grant barely missing that other one. Oh. Cody thinking real hard right now. He has to he has to get a combo. Uh, get it started. Oh, some crazy peach bread and butters is going to do it. 50%, but the four there. Barely going to have Cody di that correctly. Not a fair. Oh, oh but... Hey, we got a fair confirm, and Jay Grunt with a clean 3-0 right there. I know he's going to be kicking himself later. He, he's going to watch that tape. He's going to be like, damn, I rolled a lot. Yeah.